are now in orbit above Roseway, Captain. No guards, huh? I like this place already. Something chewed clear through that armor. They left their own outside to die? Was it that bad? I done had enough of this shit. I'm just the fucking tarmac guard. No one said nothing about fighting no raps. Alarms went off, raps broke loose, and I hightailed it in here to get a wall between me and them beasts. Um, forget I said anything about that. Distress call. From here? Shit. They told me that weren't allowed. Got me. I just do what I'm told, and I was told not to do such. Scientist, name of Anton Crane. Someone said he's panicking inside the comm center. What do you think? I'm the landing pad guard. I was standing out on the fucking tarmac. Hell of a job until all this. Anything else you'd like to know? Oh, before I forget, Anti-Cleos makes the best pharmaceuticals in Halcyon. Better than nature. 
Not like that crap Spacer's Choice pedals. runs from the bottom of the lab to the top of the hill, over the garage. Top of the hill's rafted on territory. Sit down. I don't need to do it myself. I can stay here if you want. So you'd send someone else on your damn fool mission. Hey, boss. Could we get some Rizzos? I don't think you're supposed to be wandering around. Security's gonna tell you to make tracks. Want to treat yourself before you go? Something for the road, maybe? I don't really know you. Roseway's supposed to be closed off to visitors. Stands to reason you could be a corporate spy of some sort. Then again, there's nothing in my contract that says I can't sell the corporate spies. Your bits are the same as anybody else's. Annie Cleo makes the best pharmaceuticals in Halcyon. I told you, you're staying put. You're not If you've come to end my life, let's be on with it. Oh, not actually one of them, are you? Uh, yes, yes, Anton Crane, lead scientist here. I must apologize if my call diverted you. I uh, may have panicked. Everything's under control now, though, truth be told. Standard operating procedure for suits, boss. They're all a bunch of cowards. I'm not sure it's right to fault a man for trying to survive. Yes, yes, of course. Hours ago, a group of vicious malcontents fell upon us, shot up our labs and loosed our research subjects, the Raptodons. If those Cretans get their hands on my research, well, they'll need not kill me. You have a point there. It most decidedly cannot make this situation any worse. All right, we were tasked with formulating a new and improved dental gel. One cannot exaggerate the benefits of good dental hygiene. May I continue? Very well. We'd formulated the world's most effective appetite suppressant toothpaste. Not just any diet toothpaste, the ultimate diet toothpaste. Oh, I'm certain it could be made into that as well with only a few changes to its molecular composition, but you're missing the point. Let's focus for a moment, shall we? 
Even if you disregard the obvious value of Auntie Cleo's Apazap diet toothpaste in and of itself, we're talking about my career here as well. Nice, is it not? Came up with that myself. It's a shame our marketing department is almost as befuddled as my co-workers here. Yes, but don't kill their mother if it's avoidable. We've need of her to replenish our stocks. I think there's gas in the lab somewhere that can be used to put them out. The research is in the safe in my office. You'll have need of my code and key card. The lab's entrance is in the side of a hill. You can't miss it if you just follow the road. You'll pass by the town's original by the Grand Architect. Jameson, he's in the old lab. My protege. I sent him to retrieve some metabolic precursors, and I forgot him. That would surely lighten the weight on my conscience, as I am held to account for the well-being of every scientist here. Too many have been lost. Too many black marks against my name, as it were. And far too much paperwork. Of course they do. Please don't mistake my ambition for callousness. If my colleagues refuse to take their lives seriously, why should I? All they do is complain. They refuse to see the opportunity afforded us here. I understand I can come off as manipulative and ego-driven. It's something I've always been forced to contend with. Pretty Captain, I love all the trees. We ought to go places like this more. Hmm. Get ready! Come on! 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 Come on!
We're just gonna walk in? I mean, it's a secret right on it. Look at this place. Like some kind of tomb. you get over here you care to explain what you're doing here did you miss the big sign outside that I am name's Porter if Doc Crane did send you I'd be glad for the help bad news is we haven't been able to clean these outlaws out of the lab good news is they haven't been able to escape neither That's how they got in. We got that locked down. There's no access from their level without a security key card. That also means no fresh air down there. Probably reeks of Raptodon musk. Couldn't happen to a nicer bunch. For now, I reckon they got no backup. On the other hand, we don't neither. And our mechanicals all went haywire for some damn reason. Damn, mechanicals have always been more trouble than they're worth. Pretty damn sure. The shafts are sealed with four centimeter hatches. They're not getting back out that way without a security key card. They'd need to take mine. Or make a new one in my office, I guess. Why you want to know that? One level down across from the cafeteria, but I locked it up, and I got the only key card. To get in, they'd have to blow it. We'd hear. Organized crew like this, they probably got somebody to do that. You got a point. Better to be safe than shot in the back. Who, me? Or you mean the lab in general? I'm in charge of site safety engineering. Most days that means making sure folks don't run in the halls. Most days there ain't nothing to hear but wind, bugs, and the buildings falling slowly to pieces. Well, it's not like the rain's coming in the roof. Not yet, anyway. Soap or something? I don't know. Years back, they made antibiotics. You could maybe ask Doc Crane what he does all day. Oh, the pay ain't much, but it's never been about the bits. I like Roseway. Right. 
Incoming! You! Over here! Oh good, you're not shooting at me. That's a start. It's been a bit of a day, so I'll get to the point. Yes, I have Crane's research. No, I'm not giving it back. Sorry to disappoint you. I suppose it does not matter. Either Crane sent you, or you are some scavenger come to rob me in my moment of weakness. Let's make a deal. I'd like to go on living. You'd probably like to make some money. Help me get out of here, and I will pay you for your trouble. The first thing I need is a key card to unlock my door. Then I'd need you to clear me a path out of here. There are two ways out. The quickest is through the front door, but Cleo security's bottled up in there. If you don't want to shoot them, I suppose you could talk to them. 
The other way out is through the loading bay. But you'd have to clear out the wraps for me. Then I could just slip out the back, sight unseen. So you lied about not knowing Crane. I suppose I do not blame you. We liberated that research. We did not steal it. And yes, a few scientists were caught in the crossfire. This lab is a prison, not a place of work. Those men were not scientists. They were indentured laborers. We liberated them. They should be thanking us. All wars have casualties. I regret taking a life, but we were doing them a mercy. Better to die than live in a state of slavery. We are all of us trapped. You, me, the scientists. This is not a colony. It is a slave camp. Yes, we raided the lab, shot some guards. Killed a few scientists in the crossfire, but it was all for a higher cause. Then we will tear it down again. Do you know what propaganda by the deed means? It means we set an example by our actions. It means we send a message. You might be the first stroke of luck I've had all day. Thank you. I'm in your debt. Nothing beyond the purview of a talented freelancer like you. You really expect me to just let them pass? Why? So they can regroup behind their walls and mount another assault? Never mind. I'm obviously in no position to argue with you. If you can talk those guards into standing down, my people will follow suit. Take your time. I am, to my chagrin, not going anywhere.
processing. Performing. Oh, that's the last of them. Incoming. Damn turncoat. We saw everything. You must think me a fool. I was watching on the security cameras. You got downright friendly with the outlaw leader. I reckon we got nothing to say to each other. You best back yourself out of here. Nice and slow. You got one minute. Starting now. You convinced her to let us leave in peace. Listing the ills we've been done ain't exactly putting me in a mind to compromise. I gotta believe that all we've done will mean something to the company, to Doc Crane. That effort will make up for mistakes. I've worked for Auntie Cleo 18 years, done my best for them. Always expected they'd do right by us in turn. I reckon I don't see any better solution. Fine, damn it. We'll pull out. Here, my key card. It'll get you access to the whole place. Full stakes, people. We're heading back to town. I've never been so pleased at the sight of an open door. Please tell me you've cleared a way out of here. So you have. I am much obliged. And now, if you do not mind, I have had quite enough of this wretched place.
Oh, really? And why, pray tell, would I do a thing like that? Your point is well taken. I would rather not spend the rest of my days looking over my shoulder for the shadow of my headhunter. Here, take the damned research. Tell Crane I hope he chokes on it.
What's left there that's worth dying for? You let them get away. Worthless, the lot of you. Well, you get what you pay for, don't you? That no-account fool Porter and his crew are even more worthless than I could have imagined. They've abandoned their posts. This is madness. My research? Please tell me you've recovered it. That's... You can't possibly understand the enormity of what you've done for me. Did you find my colleague, Jameson? Well, please keep me apprised of your progress as to that matter. I suppose you've earned it. It's highly illegal to have brought the Raptodons to Terra, too. The research done on them before Monarch was left to the dregs was too promising to just abandon, so here we are. You've not much idea how these things work, do you? If Auntie Cleo could be connected to what we're doing here, they'd be ruined. Everyone skirts the law looking for an edge, but the ultimate sin is to be exposed. Plausible deniability is everything. It's a good week of work just to get the engine to turn over. You reckon that's how the bad guys got there? Huh? You Looks like we're doing this!
that wasn't a load bearing wall. System up. Investigate. Here they come! Nice. Sit, we Look out! Doc Crane better get over himself. Yes? Did you find my colleague, Jameson? That is... tragic news. I never did write by him. 
only cared about how he helped or hurt my research. And now I'll have to live with that. Materials detected on road. 